ันนี้ชื่อผมว่าโอเค In a very few moments, we're going to read a story about Elijah and Elisha. Now, this may not be such a familiar Bible story to everybody, but in this story, Elijah is going to stand on the banks of the River Jordan, and he's going to take his mantle, which is like a coat, which is like a coat, kind of like a long coat, but he's going to take his mantle. And he's going to roll it up, and then he's going to do what with it? Throw it in the river? Uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. What do you think? He's going to to attack a person. He's going to attack a person. Yeah. No, that's not exactly what I hoped we would do. <laughs> <laughs> But he's going to take this rolled up mantle, something like this, and he's going to strike the River Jordan. And guess what happens when he strikes the River Jordan? What do you all think? Gets wet. Gets wet. <laughs> the river parts. The river parts. The water's parted. I was carrying. I was carrying this in this morning, and the Baptist congregation, their greeters said, "What are you going to do with that blanket?" I said, "It's a mantle." They said, "Well, what are you going to do with that mantle?" And I told them the story, and they said, "Well, are you going to part the waters?" I said, "For crying out loud, I can't part my hair." <laughs> It's funny. I, the only thing I have, you know, my hair can't be parted. It just departed. <laughs> <laughs> But Elijah, Elijah took his mantle and he struck the river, and the waters parted. And Elisha and Elijah crossed the river on dry land. And I wanted to show you this because this is part of the story that I wanted to tell you. This is not a mantle. It's a it is a blanket. It's, but it's a very special kind of blanket. Mm, that's pretty. Yeah. It's a baby blanket. Wow. This is a quilt. This is the last quilt my mom made for me before she passed away. And it's all it's been. A, it's it's a very special blanket for me. But one of the symbols about Elijah passing on to Elisha his mantle. Was that that way? He knew that he had inherited and would go on with the work that Elijah started, the work of God. And in a very special way, I think that's what happened with this blanket. My mom passed it on to me, and ever so often, when it's cold, and I pull it around me, and I think about her, and I know that I'm going to continue on. And try and do the work that she gave me to do, and try and reflect the love that she gave me, which is really the most important work that we do. Carrying on the love that we've been given from mom, from dad, from this church, but most especially from God, from Jesus. And that's what I want to pass on to you all today. So, bow your heads with me, please, and repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, dear God, thank you for your church. Thank you for your church. A place like this one. A place like this one, where we learn, where we learn to pass on, to pass on the love that we receive, the love that we receive, a double portion of the love. Of the love. All this we ask in your name. All we ask in your name. Amen. Now. I cordially invite you all to go sit with your parents, and this is where we do something special. So, the baptism.